I bet you uh, Mayor Gregor Robertson is feeling pretty good uh, this morning at City Hall. We're here with Max Cameron, UBC political science uh, expert, professor. Uh, you have been helping us with our city votes yeah. leading up to the election. Thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure. I'm looking forward to your perspective on uh, what we saw unfold in that very interesting run-up to Saturday. Yeah. It was a very interesting race. I, I think uh, Kirk LaPointe and the NPA, to their credit, ran a very effective campaign. Uh, they started off saying that they would take the high road, but then hit very hard with some negative ads, quite polarizing in some respects. I think that got a lot of attention and got people talking. Uh, and then I think what we saw was a bit of a response to that on the part of many voters. They took a hard look at the NPA and Kirk LaPointe and then decided to stick with the status quo. Well, so what do you think happened? This with the defamation suit now. Do you think that continues on or was that just a... I wonder whether that'll be dropped or whether they'll continue with it. I think it looks a little vindictive if you can't continue with it. Uh, I think it was a strange move in any event. I, I was a little bit surprised that um, Gregor Robertson didn't use the opportunity during the debates to say, you know, this is inappropriate, this kind of really negative advertising. We'd like to see in Canadian politics a, a little more civility. Uh, address it politically rather than in the courts. But uh, now that the election's over, we'll, we'll see whether they continue with it. And the election is over and the mayor has yeah. been re-elected four more years of Vision Vancouver yeah. in City Hall. Yeah. Your thoughts on what that means, what, what was expressed by voters in that regard? Well, I think what we've seen really throughout the Lower Mainland is uh, that, you know, uh, sitting mayors tend to get re-elected. And you know, we've seen that in Vancouver, in Richmond, in Burnaby, in Surrey, of course, uh, Diane Watt stepping down, but replaced by her anointed successor, Linda Hepner. Uh, the Tri-Cities, all of the mayors re-elected. The big upsets were really uh, New Westminster, uh, Mission, Abbott, um, Victoria, of course. But uh, for the most part, what we've seen in the last election was what we see in previous elections. It's not unusual for mayors to serve one, two, three, four, five, six terms. Right, because you start the ball rolling in your city yeah. and people think, well, we, yeah. let's keep going down this path because we That's need this exactly to continue. It. Voter turnout, this, uh, is it naive to be disappointed in 44% turnout when the city was expecting yeah. and hoping for 40 percent. Those numbers seem remarkably low. What is keeping people from getting out and voting? Well, there was a bump in, in turnout, right? So in Vancouver, it went up about nine points. It went up in Surrey as well. So in the tight races, what we tend to see is when the race is tight, people think that uh, there's something at stake and people start talking about it, particularly when there's a, a lively campaign and, and real issues get aired, uh, then you get a, an increase in voter turnout. Of course, it's still, it's not going to rise to the level of uh, the turnout that you're going to see in federal and provincial politics. Right. So in part because, you know, municipal governments are essentially responsible for things like, you know, waste and garbage collection and so forth. And so they don't tend to, they tend to generate a certain amount of nimbyism. Uh, people respond to particular issues, a development in their neighborhood, uh, a bike lane or something like that, but not the broader sort of philosophical issues, except in the major cities where we do begin to see, and I think we saw in Vancouver, some philosophical differences about the nature of economic development that we want. Do we want resource-based development or a diversified economy, environmentalism, you know, people felt very strongly about tankers and Chevron in the schools and so forth. Uh, some of those, some of those issues, which are really not properly speaking, about municipal politics. They're sort of broader right. issues, uh, but they do become part of the campaign. They do become yeah. part of the campaign. And, and it was interesting, even Christy Clark, I guess, went out of her way on social media to say, we look forward to working with local governments because right. some were saying, well, Gregor Robertson doesn't yeah. have any control over tankers. Well, that's it. He doesn't. I mean, even on issues that are, are where he does have some influence, like transportation, housing, and so forth, all of these municipalities, not only do they have to work with other levels of government, they have to work with one another to get, a, to get the, the the region functioning, they have to operate within the level of Metro Vancouver too. And so it's really important that our mayors take a, a broad view of the region and work together with other mayors and other levels of government. Fascinating to hear your take on these things. Obviously a very wise man is our Max Cameron, who is a professor of political science at UBC. Thank you for being here. My pleasure.